Measure for Measure is another one of Shakespeare's problem comedies. It is the story of a duke who decides to go on hiatus and disappear for a little while, and in his absence, he puts uh, Angelo in charge of uh, the country. One of his first decrees is to make sure that any sort of infidelity is condemned. One of the very first people that gets sent to jail under Angelo's new regime is Claudio, who is um, who has impregnated his girlfriend. Claudio has a sister, Isabel, who's just becoming a nun, and Claudio asks her to please go plead to the Duke for his life. Isabel goes to do that, and Angelo falls for her. Angelo makes her an indecent proposal which says that if she will sleep with him, he will let her brother go free. Angelo has a line which uh, is, uh, who sins most, uh, the tempter or the tempted? That battle that that character has in the play, that, that line sums it up. This battle between moral convictions and what he has publicly said and, and stated that he believes in, and then um, some of the darker uh, aspects of his uh, humanity. The Duke, who we believe has disappeared, disguised himself as a friar and is hanging out in town and watching what's going on. He decides, once he hears about this, to help Isabel. We discover that Angelo had a girlfriend in his past. Isabel is able to use that girlfriend in the same bed trick scenario that Shakespeare's used before, so that Angelo sleeps with uh, the person he eventually ends up with. Once the Duke has helped Isabel uh, sort of escape from this trap with Angelo, proposes marriage to her. Once he's helped her out of this, he puts her right back in that situation, and then that's how the play kind of ends unresolved. We just did it last season, and we set it in sort of a Prohibition era background, which was really kind of great. It really put the decadence and loose moral living in a nice sort of easy context for the audience. The scene between Angelo and Isabel, where he makes the indecent proposal, we sort of ratcheted that up a notch a bit and made it much more physical. So it wasn't just the threat of the proposal, the actor playing Angelo sort of lost control of himself physically. So there was a bit of a skirmish there, really raised the stakes uh, for Isabel and the situation that she was in. It's another fantastic example of how uh, innovative uh, Shakespeare was as a playwright. Breaking against tradition, that if everybody is walking around and the rule of drama that everybody understands is that in a tragedy everybody dies and in a comedy there's a wedding at the end. He's making sure that sometimes there's not a wedding or if there is a wedding it's going to be between two characters who that probably shouldn't be married such as the nun and the duke.